So did you know your Gmail account actually gives you unlimited different email addresses? So my Gmail address is stevepassanelli at gmail.com, but I can actually create as many email addresses as I would like off of that main address. So for example, Steve Passanelli plus news at gmail.com. And the plus there is the key. I'm gonna show you how you can add a plus in to your email address, make up any word that you would like after the plus, and then create a rule that will help you sort and organize your emails automatically. And it's just by adding any word after the plus. So let me walk you through this. So let me walk you through how this works. Your normal email address plus the plus news at the end at gmail.com and then you would sign up for the newsletter of your choice or newsletters. I'm gonna hit the get updates button. It's gonna say okay. We have to confirm the email. And this is where we're gonna go look in our Gmail folder and we're gonna find that email and it's gonna come into our regular inbox uh, or maybe it will get sorted, we'll see here in a second. Uh, but we can actually take that a step further by using the Plus News extension. So there's the email in my inbox here. I'm gonna click on the email. And now that I have it up on the screen, I'm just gonna go to the top of Gmail, hit the drop down box, and we just wanna create a rule, create a filter here. So we can create a filter based on who the email is sent to. And we know that this email is sent to Steve Passanelli plus news at gmail.com. And if we go down to the bottom and hit create filter with this search, that means any email sent to Steve Passanelli plus news at gmail.com. I can then take it and I can save it to a particular folder. Maybe you create a folder that, that says newsletters and all the newsletters that you sign up to in the future, they will all dump into the newsletter fo folder. So all you have to do is type in the new label, key in the new label or choose a label that you already have, go down to the bottom and hit create filter. And now no matter where you wanna sign up for a newsletter, you just use that address and it automatically takes it out of your inbox and puts it into the label of your choice. So in this example, we used plus news, and I know that Gmail already does a good job of sorting your emails, and it will put it into an updates tab or a promotions tab, and the social emails under the socials tab, social tab. So you're probably thinking, well, why would I want to use something like that and take it a step further? Uh, if there's a particular newsletter or something that you want to sign up for that you enjoy reading, rather than searching through all of your updates, um, to find that particular newsletter, then it's easy to find. You know, if you know it has great content, you can go directly to the label that you created on the side of your screen. So that's just one reason, uh, but it's not just for newsletters. I mean, you can hand out those email addresses to specific people. If you're working on a task with a group of people, you can create a special email address specifically for that task, have that followed away into a folder quickly and easily. Rather than creating separate rules for each person in that group, you can just create a single email address and it will automatically be filed away into that label. So there's a lot of other reasons on why you'd want to sort your emails that way. So I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of extensions for your Gmail account. Let me know if you have any questions.